Welcome po to the viewers, a compilation of exam reviewers and item explanations. Consider this next question. What is the difference between the square root of 150 and square root of 54? Is it A, 3 square root of 6, B, 16 square root of 6, C, square root of 96, D, 6 square root of 2, or E, 2 square root of 6? These numbers for are what we call as radical expressions or also known as irrational numbers. Um, they are considered to be irrational numbers kasi nga po, 150 and 54 are not perfect squares. Because if you have square root of 9, so it's an irrational number because meron na po equivalent na square root of 9 which is a 3. Now we are trying to get the difference po. In short, we are going to operate them square root of 54. Now, the common mistake, I'm telling you this one para di nyo po magawa during examination. The common mistake is this. The answer is square root of 96 because you're subtracting 150 and 54. This is your answer. By the way, that is not the correct answer and you can automatically drop that down. Why is it the square root of 96 is incorrect? Take note of this. Yung number po na 150 and 54 are both considered to be radicands. Radicands because they are inside radical expression. Again, radicands. And you cannot just automatically operate the radicands if they are under uh, radicands. And that, um, you cannot operate radicands under addition and subtraction without considering the concept of, uh, the correct concept for radical expressions po. Ano po mayayari? We can only add or subtract radical expressions if we have the same radicand. Let's say square root of 2 and square root of 2. We can add them. We can subtract them. If you have square root of 3 and then square root of 2, we have both square roots, pero hindi po sila magkapareha, you cannot add nor subtract them. If you have square root of 2 and cube root of 2, our radicands are the same, but we have different uh, root signs. We call this index. This is actually 2 here and 3. We can also add them. So we can automatically add or subtract if magkapareha po yung radicand. So what would, be the, the, uh, what would be the correct answer here po? Okay, ito yung mangyayari. We are going to simplify them. Paano po simplify? Ito po yung mayayari. Yes, 150 po and 54 are not perfect square. Pero, pwede po siyang i-factor. Makakahanap po tayo ng factor dito na perfect square. I'm talking about, for 150, pwede po siya 25 times 6, right? Okay. Kasi nga po, 25 times 6 is 150. And one of the numbers is a perfect square. Now, you can also try 4, but I, I don't think if this is divisible by 4. But you can try to th uh, use other factors po. But here, uh, it's enough for us to use 25. Okay? Now, your 54 po, pwede po siyang 9 times 6. Di ba po? 9 times 6 is 54. And 9 is a perfect square. After this po, after we were able to factor them, this time, we can take this out. We can take this out as well. Now, for that's the shortcut. But this is the rule here, po, the rule for radicals. If meron po kanyong ganyan, they're under multiplication, you can separate them. Square root of 25 times square root of 6 is the multiplication law for radicals. But, uh, and then we can have here, square root of 25 is 5, square root of 6. Pwede po yan. But basically, shortcut, pwede po ilabas yan. Square root of 25 is 5. And since square root of 6 is not a perfect square, or 6 rather, hindi po siya perfect square, may iwan po siya sa loob. Siya na po yung bagong radicand. Now, instead of 150, 6 na po yung bagong radicand natin. Now, let's look at the second. Yung 9, pag ilabas po yan, square root of 9, that's actually 3. And naiwan pa rin po yung 6. Yan. Now, when you look at this now, we have the same radicand na po. 
Okay? We have the same radicand. This time, we can now subtract them because that's the rule for radical expressions. But I'm also going to share you another error po. Yung error na ginagawa ng ibang estudyante po natin is ito po. Yung answer nila is just 2. Mali po yan. Yung ginawa po nila is 2 kasi nga po, tinanggal din po nila yung square root of 6. These are actually po, um, it looks like this po, parang algebra. 5y minus 3y. Di naman po natin tatanggalin yung y, di ba? Just are going to operate 5 minus 3, 2, and copy y. So, hindi po pwedeng tanggalin yung square root of 6 na yung nasa mind natin is nasubtract man po sila. Hindi po pwede. Ang gagawin po dito, once do we have the same radicand, 5 minus 3, that's 2, and similar to this, copy square root of 6. In short, the answer is 2 square root of 6, and that is actually letter, sorry, not eraser, highlighter. I need highlighter. Letter E. So the difference between square root of 150 and square root of 54 is not square root of 96. That's not possible. Okay? Make sure you have the same radicand by doing this process. What if po pagkatapos dito, di pa rin siya mag magkapareha ng radical, radicand? So, hanggang dito lang po. But since we have the same radicand now, when we subtract, we retain that radical expression and operate only those numbers outside. 5 minus 3, we have 2. That is why the answer here is 2 square root of 6. Once again po, ito po yung reviewers. Don't forget po to subscribe on our channel, like our videos, and if kaya naman po, pakishare na lang din po. And leave a comment po for our future videos improvement. And follow our FB page and stay tuned for more videos. Maraming salamat!